Hey guys, Dan Greer from ExtraHop Networks here to talk to you about the partnership and integration between ExtraHop and Splunk. The first thing is, why would you want to integrate these two products? Well, if you look at Splunk, they look at machine data. They look at logs and syslogs information and garner information specific to machines in the network. ExtraHop looks at wire data. And we reassemble those flows into transactions in real time and extract key performance metrics that we report um, for the user's use. So, what we're doing here, partnering these two together, is giving a comprehensive picture of not only the transactions on the wire in real time, but also the machine data and the information relative to the performance of the individual machines. So it's really a holistic view of how your applications and your infrastructure are running. So the first thing you need to do to get this thing working is to actually go into the extra hub and configure um, how to send data to Splunk. So if we go under the uh, administration settings under notifications, there is actually an item for our syslog. Here we're going to put in the name of the Splunk server or the IP address, what protocol we want to use to send that syslog information, and then what port we want to send it on. So that's going to teach the extra hop how it can actually talk to Splunk. Next thing we need to do is tell it what data we want to send to Splunk. So if you go under the uh, extra hop customer support for forums, there is actually a bundle for uh, Splunk. And what this does is it takes typical metrics like web, database, storage and memcache, it bundles them up and it sends the key value pairs over to Splunk to be received. So first we teach the extra how to talk to Splunk, then within an application inspection trigger we tell it what data we want to send over to Splunk. So from there you can actually go into Splunk and you can search and you can find those events. But we've actually built a Splunk based app that will go take those events and format them into a dashboard um, that will be meaningful and show you how that uh, those different tiers of your application are performing on the network. So you can download that from Splunk Base and install it into Splunk and it will format that data as it comes in from ExtraHop. All these things actually work on the ExtraHop Discovery Edition which is our freemium download from ExtraHop.com. So you can download the uh, Discovery Edition, install the Splunk bundle and begin sending data into Splunk from ExtraHop. Um, one key uh, area that we have focused on with Splunk is security. We have a security and compliance bundle that looks for key security events within your network and then gives you the ability to send the uh, anomalies in these events off to Splunk. So some real quick examples here, you know, we can look at your SSL certs. We can let you know what servers or clients are using certs that are weak or certs that are expired for that matter. We can look at Citrix data and we can tell you when people are using um, virtual channels that maybe they shouldn't. We can look at SIF's uh, file transfers and let you know if someone's pulling some huge files off of your network. Uh, we can look at LDAP authentication failures, either you know brute force or slowly over time and let you know who's failing and from what IP addresses. Um, we can look at DNS, potential uh, infiltration. We can look at database um, account monitoring, see if people are logging into your databases with either root or SA ad, uh, um, access. So basically we can take all these things from ExtraHop, looking at them in real time, and we can send them over to Splunk in real time, and you can have a real time place to monitor uh, and correlate your, your application performance and security data for a complete solution. So if you have any questions, go over to ExtraHop.com. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.